testing with him, and he told me that something that was kind of interesting. He says that some of the filters will have just pores that are smaller than some of the viruses, so a virus can't penetrate their pores. He says what happens, though, is so often that will clog it up, and they're very difficult to use. Your water, your water flow is minimal on it. The technology that they use, and I can't repeat the words he said because I can't even pronounce them, but it's this technology, and literally what it is, is it's penetrated with these gazillions of like tiny little needle type things. And so as viruses come through, it literally shreds their DNA. It shreds their DNA, and, and the testing is remarkable. The testing is absolutely, and the lab reports are remarkable. Um, they're on the website. You can go on. You can go on the website just to say shell.com. You can look at the products. Um, I think that this this one um, and the little straw are absolutely fabulous for the 72-hour kits, for our emergency, our emergency prep packs. Um, yes. What do you use the white thing for? Oh, this is a water sock, and I know you know that, because <laughs> I think I think Susan may have given this to me. Um, this is a water sock. It's a pre-filter, because if you go down to the Jordan River, or you're in the Amazon, or wherever you might be, and you've got water that's mucky, and it's got sediment, or moss, or dirt, or bark, or whatever, you don't want to start running that through your filter. So if you pre-filter, you set this down, you could set this like in a five gallon bucket, pour the bad water through, inside it'll catch all the heart heavy stuff, and in your bucket it will leave, it's not clean water, it's just, it just doesn't have particles in it. It's clean of particles, but it still will have, you know, the bacteria or whatever. But how it will save life on all your filters if you're not running moss and dirt and stuff through your filters. You don't have to have a fancy water sock. You can do it through cheesecloth. You can do it through a coffee filter. You can do it through a paper towel, I mean a dishcloth. You just want to pre-filter your water before you run it through your, your nice systems. Can you clean those so you can reuse them? Oh, yeah. You can just yeah. clean and dump that out and then yeah. pour it in again. And it just, it just is a pre-filter for your water, so it saves that. Another idea would be to put it in a container and let it sit so that the sediment will settle. Will sink. And then you can. Um, and then take it off the out. top. Thank you. Good point. Yes. I was talking to a fellow here uh, about a week ago and uh, told me that he uh, got Giardia. Uh, I can't remember how he picked it up, but he drank some stream water or something. And he said that within about three hours he started becoming ill. And then, uh, and then he got, it turned into severe stomach cramps, you know, cramping, vomiting, and uh, that was within about a day. And then, then, it, then, it, then it went on. He said he still had effects from it for about three months later. Oh, you're kidding. Gerardia is, and Cryptosporidium are the two biggies in E. coli. He said absolutely it's not worth the gamble. If you don't know, you're not sure that it's clean. That the risk of drinking it is this not worth it. Is not worth it. You let me show you another one, another filter that I came across. This one, let's see, this one right here. Okay, this is another one that's by Aquamera, by the company Aquamera that does these, uh, and they actually use these as a team. Okay, because remember, this one takes four hours to kill the large. Okay. Let's go through it. The smallest is a virus, and then there's bacteria, and then there's protozoa, or cysts. Okay, these are the ones that can make you very, I mean, they can all make you very sick. But these are the ones here that are most common, that, we, that most people want to get rid of. That's, it, at least in our country, what we're at most risk for. Okay, so these cysts, or these protozoa, are typically Gerardia, Cryptosporidium, and E. coli. Those are the three biggies. Almost every filter I've seen, almost without exception, takes out those cysts, okay? Now, where we get into deciding what filters and purifiers we like is, is how much bacteria and how many viruses it'll take out. Those are the other two. Now, viruses are not common in the United States unless there's like a Hurricane Katrina and there are dead bodies in the water and then you have to somehow make that drinking water. That's when you have to be very careful with viruses. 
and some bacteria. But if you are just backpacking and you're in the United States, you really only worry about the, those three biggies, the Girardia, the Cryptosporidium, and the E. coli. Almost every filter I came across, slam dunk, they took care of those. Because they're large, they're very easy to filter out. Viruses are very, very, very small, as are a lot of, you know, some bacteria. Um, yes? What about some kind of chemical um, contamination in the water? Do these filters take those out? Yeah, well, yes. This Seychelle, I went through and I looked at all of the chemicals it takes out, all the heavy metals, all the chemicals. Miraculously, somehow the filter knows how to keep in trace minerals like potassium. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. It keeps the good stuff in. And on their website, it says in 90 days, or maybe it says 60 days, they are going to come out with a filter that will filter out radiation that's in your water, radi radioactive fallout. Okay, now is that cool? But that one's not going to be available for, it's either 60 or 90 days. I've been looking for a filter just for our home water that, like, you know, reverse osmosis takes everything out. So you don't yeah. have any of the good stuff in. And it's really hard to find one. So does this company put out, like, a home filter for water? They do. They put this home water pitcher. Um, it's, it takes out everything, and it leaves in all your trace minerals. Really? It takes out your virus. It takes out everything. It, mm -hmm. It's quite amazing. Uh, the use of this is a little less... Um, efficient, I think, because like you can just pour in gallons in here and just walk away, and just it's gravity driven, and you just will have this holding tank of water. This one, the holding tank's not quite as big, and even though it's quite fast, it does 12 gallons an hour. I mean, you have to keep going back and refilling it because this only holds a gallon, and then you can put that gallon in something larger and put it in your fridge or something like that. But this one is a little more labor intensive. You'd have to just you you know you'd have to attend to it a little more often. But with uh, my parents served a mission in Bermuda, they totally needed that because they had to boil all their water. Because you know how they get their water, it's off the roofs. I mean, literally, that's their water supply is what comes and drains off their roof. Um, so they totally needed something like that. So that this is Seychelles home water solution for that. And we'll have this on the roof one too. And those straws, who was asking on prices? I think those straws are like $10 down with the pricing off of it. Um, it's very cool. Here's one that I think, I'll, I'll show you this one that I came across. And you know what, at the end, anybody who wants to come up, you can open them all up, you can see how they work, you can squeeze them, you can touch them. I've got all the testing results out here. Well, some of them are on the packaging, but you can look. Okay, now this one was developed for the military. They actually, the military went to Aqua, Aqua Mera, and so they developed this. It comes in different packaging. They have this one for a consumer packaging, but they're exactly the same. Um, so I think this one was kind of cool because, let's see, you can, you can put on these different attachments. Um, that right there will fit any water or any two liter bottle. So literally you could go fill up like a two liter bottle, your water bottle, screw that on, and you literally can drink out of that. So now, you've just filled this, and you can drink it like that. I think that is very cool. Look at the size of this. That thing is tiny. How much will it do, filter water? This one filters 50 gallons. And then you can get new, and it has little pre-filters that come with it. It has this attachment. Let's see, this attachment, so you can put a straw in it. And then this one now becomes a straw, and you can drink it. You can literally, you could just get a container, fill it out of the river. You can drink it like that, or a cup, or drink right out of the river, something like that. So it's and then, good for other things too. What's that? I say you get all that put together, and it's good for other things. Too. Good for other things too. Yeah, this one now will fit any like Camelback or something. So now you're all your hydration packs. That'll fit that tubing. Um, so here's the downfall with this, though. It only takes out the protozoa. It doesn't take out the bacteria. It doesn't take out the, the bacteria. But they said, according to the military, that's their risk. That's what they don't want when they have to get, uh, you know, when they're out, um, out and about. It's, that is what they're worried about, is those big risks. 